Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for April 7th until 13th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Oh. Scorpio. You'll be facing betrayal this week that is related to finances. It seems like somebody has been taking something from you and this person is somebody that you really trusted the most. Now let's take a look more. Although there will be some change of, um, you know, there will be some change of um, situation that you will be catching this person, you know, red-handedly. And uh, instead of apologizing, they are going to be pr standing proud of you or standing proud of themselves right in front of you. And they're not going to say sorry. Okay. Now, you will be moving. Okay, you're either you're thinking of moving or you will be moving within the next four days, four weeks, or this month of April. Okay, and finally, you will be getting the house that you're really looking for and that you really wanted. Now, the problem here is right in the middle of the week, you will be you will find out that somebody has been stealing from you, someone has been betraying you when it comes to finances, or someone has been snipping, you know, like small bits of amount here and there, especially if you if you're trusting somebody to withdraw from you or to get the car to transfer the money here and there, or if somebody has an access to your bank account or online banking or, you know, whatever it is, you will suddenly know you know, you already have this inkling feeling that even if you're not, um, even if you're not uh, counting, you feel like something is missing. You feel like, you know, something's just awfully wrong. And then you will be doing, uh, you will be doing the auditing, the reviewing and everything, the, the, the numbers, the figures and everything. And you feel like something's not really the right. And you will get down to the bottom of it and you will know who the person is or who's in charge of this. Now, you thought that this person can be trusted since that, you know, you've been happy for the past few days. But unfortunately, this person is just trying to string you along with their, with their drama and with their act. Because they have their own plans. And they have their own, you know, they have their own agenda. But you're not going to confront them. Because what you're going to do is that you will be catching them first. Okay, you will be setting them up. For, uh, for them to, to, to have an evidence that, that just in case that you will confront them, at least that there is something more like a solid evidence that you can present it that, okay, it's not just a hunch. It's not, it's not just a suspicion. And it's not that I am accusing you. This is the evidence. So you're going to be taking some smart steps into getting this person caught. And you will around Thursday or around the fourth day of the week. And you will be very... It's like you will be very disappointed with how this person will be acting towards you. And you feel like, you know what? My decision is just right to cut you off. And even if there is a celebration or there is a party that you're supposed to, to be attending or you're supposed to form together, you will just, you know, decide to cut it off and you will just decide to, you know what? Just go. I don't want to deal with any of your bullshits and I don't want to deal with any of your bull craps in life. I've given you everything that I could. I've provided you everything that you need. And this is what how you're going to repay me. So you're, you're only going to try to be strong. And I feel like if, if there's an event that you will be attending within the next two weeks or within the next uh, two days, then you will be going alone. And you want this person to realize what they have done to you. If they're going to be realizing it. Because I feel like you're dealing with a narcissist. That they are not going to... You know, they only try and show that, oh, I'm sorry. You know, and it's like they're going to cry. But the, but the thing here is, it's a fake emotion. Just for you to touch your, you know, your compassion. And just for you to feel sorry for them. 
But if you forgive them and let them in again, they're just going to do the same thing over and over and over again. Now, you know that there are some changes that needs to take place. And you only know this to yourself. You're very much aware. But you are just trying to weigh down your options. And there is a water sign. Okay, that, uh, that's been like advising you about the things that you needed to do or about the things that you really, ha you know, the steps that you have to take. But then you are not really paying attention because you feel like this person is just trying to badmouth the other one. But then right now this week, you will just realize everything that this person has been telling you are all true. And you will be focusing much on your work and you will be bettering yourself because you want to prove this person that even if they are trying to attack you or even if they are trying to sabotage your life that you can do much better without them and that is something that's already proven okay you will rise to the occasion and you will be protecting yourself even more and you will be building up some more walls against this person this is a fire sign okay that you feel like is your soulmate or that, or that you have some karmic ties together now this person acts all high and mighty that despite of being codependent on you they feel like you are the one who's codependent on them okay and actually that is the problem and I feel like you need to be a little bit more firm with your decision if you really want to, you know, to get this person out of your life. Because, you know, if he, you have a very soft spot for this person, and if you will let them in, or if you will let them get back into your life, then they will just do the same thing over and over again. And if you're also planning to relocate, then do so. It is much better for you to move in a place where they cannot really reach you that easily or they cannot just reach you, uh, you know, at a certain distance. It is much better for you to have some peace of mind. It's going to be hard at first and at the beginning, but then just think of it in the long run that you have been dealing with a snake, you know, for the, for the past few days, months, and years. And you have given your full trust only to know that this person has been backstabbing you for how many times and how many years already. So it's not really a very painful um, separation, but it's more of an awakening. And, and there's also something that you need to learn from this situation. And it's more of an eye-opening, you know, eye-opening situation as well with this person. You already have an instinct before, but it's like your heart just blinds you too much, you know, because you love this person so much. And you thought that because you love them, they will change and that they will also do a lot of things, okay, to, to not to ruin the relationship. But then they are being more bold and daring because you know why? This person is already forming a secret life of theirs and trying to gather everything what they can from you. And that's the only time that they will be escaping. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this week, Scorpio. Hopefully next week it will be changing and your luck will improve. And if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.